Hey guys, what is up? It is Gunning and Gaming 16, and today I am reviewing Modern Warfare Remastered. Now, Modern Warfare Remastered is a game that came out recently this year with the 2016 Infinite Warfare Legacy Edition for $80. But what it is, is just a remastered game of Modern Warfare Call of Duty 4 that came out in 2000. And As I previously mentioned, uh, it's $80 for the Legacy Edition, which comes with two games. So do the math, it's $40 per game. But if you're like me, where you're mainly going to play Modern Warfare Remastered, then is it worth it? Well, my answer is probably, because at some point you're going to get bored, you're going to check out, you know, Infinite Warfare, see what it's like, and you're going to end up playing both games at some point. Right now, the game comes with 10 multiplayer maps in its full campaign in all of its glory, and is coming out with six more this month for free. Um, the game right now is pretty much the exact same game, so unless they change anything, like the, uh, the sounds... The maps, like, I don't think they're going to add an Infinite Warfare or a Modern Warfare 2 map in there. Now, I've been mentioning a lot that right now the game is a game that came out in 2007, and it's remastered, that's all it is, but it can compete with modern day shooters. It is just that good. It set that bar so high in 2007 that, you know, whatever, how nine years later, it still competes with the games that are today. And, I mean... It's really fun to play. There are a smaller amount of guns for me being a mainly Battlefield player. There's only two shotguns, uh, probably a select few assault rifles, and a few other guns for overall. Even in pistols, there's only like four pistols, which I personally don't like. But, um, you know, I think it also is a pro and a con. I don't like that there's only that many pistols, but I think it keeps the game from being Battlefield. Uh, you know, it, that's what makes it COD, but, you know, that's fine by me. It doesn't really affect the gameplay too much that I don't have some pistol that has the exact same damage model as two of the other pistols and is kind of unique on its own. I feel like they covered everything, just had the bare minimum. One big thing about this game is OP weapons. OP weapons are definitely in this game. You can definitely find them, and they're, they're really not that hard to find. But I feel like some weapons are OP on certain maps and not on others. Like, this shotgun is not going to help me in probably much other than Shipment. Shipment's a very small map. It's really good for shotguns. Another big thing, a big pro for me, uh, being a favorable knifing guy i love knifing i love pistols so it's kind of sad when there's only four pistols in the game but what can you expect anyways but knifing is back it's a one hit kill and i really like it and there's this really cool like um glitch where if you have the g3 suppressed and you go to knife someone you're gonna like chase them around it's not gonna let's talk about um kill streaks kill streaks now are there's three of them only three there's no customizable anything it's three Three kills, you get the UAV. Five, you get the airstrike. And I believe it's seven, you get the helicopter. And I feel like the helicopter is a little OP because it's automated. I feel like the player should control it. Um, one more gun I feel is OP, but I wanted to stay that way because I like it, is the AK-47, as I'm showing you here now. It um, comes with 60 rounds total. I think it's like 30, 35 in the mag, something like that. And um, the accuracy is great. It's mainly like vertical recoil. Um, and, you know, I just I like it. The damage is great. You can two-shot kill someone with stopping power. So what do I think about the game? I like it. It's classic. I love Modern Warfare. It was probably one of the first CODs that I ever played. And that was at a very young age, even for me. I think I was like five or six when I started playing it. And, um, you know what, if I had to give this a rating out of 10 for my reviews, because I'm going to start doing game reviews more often, it is a 9 out of 10. If you guys could hit that subscribe and like button, that would be so great. I love support, and I love my viewers, my fans, if I even have any right now. But, um, I'm coming out with an Infinite Warfare review in 
a few days, so hopefully you can check that out too, and subscribe so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much. This is Gunning and Gaming, signing out.